Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The Supreme Court of Florida is now in a ceremonial session. All the way up across the plea, draw near. Give attention, you shall be heard. God save these United States, great state of Florida, and this honorable court. Ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Court of Florida, please be seated. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Florida Supreme Court, it is my great honor to welcome you to this induction ceremony for new members of the Florida Bar. I must say, I think this is a record crowd for this ceremony. This is a great day for each of you as inductees. And it is a great day for your families and for your friends. Everyone who helped you overcome all the challenges and difficulties you faced along the way to this happy occasion. The special challenges brought on by the pandemic for this group of inductees were indeed extraordinary. We recognize that and we think there should be a special designation on your license, your bar <laughs> card, because of what you've had to go through in this extraordinary time. This ceremony is a time for celebration, a time to look back with gratitude and a time to look forward with hope and with resolve. Being a member of the legal profession is a great privilege and it is a great responsibility. Lawyers give life to the rule of law in our society. The legal profession is an essential pillar of our democratic institutions and a bulwark for our liberties as Americans. Without the legal profession, our way of life the freedom and rights that define us as a people would not be possible. As you enter your professional life today, I encourage you to always remember the crucial role your profession plays in our society. And there are other things I hope you will remember. There is great personal and professional satisfaction to be found in reaching out to those less fortunate in our communities who cannot afford legal representation. Providing pro bono services is part of the oath you will take today and part of the obligation that goes hand in hand with the privilege of practicing law. As a member of the Florida Bar, you will have obligations to your clients, to the public, and to other members of the Bar. Always remember that your conduct will bring credit or discredit not only to you as an individual, but also to the profession of which you are a part. In an important sense, and whatever you do, you will stand as a representative of the Florida Bar. It is my honor now to call Michael G. Tanner, President of the Florida Bar, for remarks. President Tanner. Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice. May it please the court, members of the court, family and friends, colleagues, and of course, to our newest Florida lawyers, um, I echo the words of the chief that this is a great day for each of you and your families, uh, but it's a great day for the bar. It really is. I'm just, I was, I was thinking to myself as I was watching all of you getting ready about all the new energy that is coming into our bar, and that's a wonderful thing for us. I'm here to welcome you on behalf of our membership into our profession, and we are a profession. Uh, in a moment, you're going to take the oath of office, and... Uh, you will be then officers of the court, part of our third branch of government, uh, guardians of the rule of law. And uh, after today, you should think of yourselves a little differently than you did yesterday. Uh, the rest of us here in these proceedings will certainly do that. I'd like to give you two pieces of advice, and I will promise to do it briefly. But I hope you'll find these to be useful for you in your career. The first is to Keep a copy of the oath that you're about to take uh, handy. Put it on your wall. I know some people have a copy in their wallet or put it in your desk drawer. But keep it where you can pull it out and look at it and think about it and do that often because it will remind you of the serious commitments you're making here today. And they are serious. And the obligations you will live under from this day forward are serious. 
And I particularly, the, the Chief Justice mentioned the provision and the oath about pro bono work, and I echo those comments, but I particularly also want to draw your attention and have you think about going forward what we call the civility proviso in the oath, which the Supreme Court added to the oath in 2011. And it says to opposing parties and their counsel, I pledge fairness, integrity, and civility not only in court, but in all written and oral communications. Be an example of that every day with everyone you meet. And be an example also of what we, what we call the other pillars of professionalism. Be competent, but don't just be competent, be the best. Be committed to representing your clients zealously within our ethical rules and our court rules, and always strive to have the highest moral character. And do that in your personal life as well as your professional life. And if you do that, the fruits of our profession will follow you for the rest of your career. And personal satisfaction and fulfillment will follow you for the rest of your career. Now, the second piece of advice I'd like to give you was given to me and my 3L class together, so you know how long ago that was. Uh, when the president of the Florida Bar then came to speak to us, uh, and he said to us then, and I say to you now, that the reputation you have in our profession from now on, good or bad, you will begin to build today. So I urge you to begin to build the very best reputation you possibly can. Because you'll find that over time, you'll give more value to that than anything else in your career. You all have earned, you've worked hard and you've earned a wonderful privilege and opportunity to serve others and do good. So go and do great things. Don't just do good things, do great things. All of you can do that. Make us all proud. I know you can do that. I welcome you again, and I say to each one of you, Godspeed along the journey of your career. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice. Thank you. Thank you, President Tanner. I now recognize Lowe Gulley, President of the Tallahassee Bar Association for Remarks. Chief Justice, court, may it please the court. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say the first thing is my name, and then I'm going to say congratulations to every single my name is Lo Bealby. I'm the president of the Tallahassee Bar Association. We are a voluntary bar association. The speaker before me, that's the mandatory bar that you have to take. We're the voluntary bar. But today is all about you, and today is your day. The journey here has been long hours. There's been a lot of sacrifice. We all know that. We all respect that. Many hardships. Today is major moment in your life and you deserve every bit of our congratulations. I say this to every jury when I appear in front of them, I have notes because what I'm going to say is very important. I don't want to forget any part of it. The TBA is a voluntary bar association and I encourage you when you go to whatever town or city in which you're going to practice, be it Miami, Tampa, Orlando, Jacksonville, Pensacola, or the smaller towns, Bartow, Samsula, the land. Join your local voluntary bar association. The voluntary bar associations around the state have all been in place for quite some time. The Tallahassee Bar Association is one of the oldest. We were founded in 1918, and most towns and cities have different ones. And I will tell you that the friendships that you make, the people that you meet, the judges who are members, and after all, judges are lawyers, so they come and they belong to their voluntary bar associations. Those friendships and those relationships will strengthen because you will have mutual respect. You will know each other, you will understand each other, and in our society, those principles are so needed every day, more so now than ever. The Tallahassee Bar Association, our founding principles were and are professionalism, ethical behavior in everything that you say or do, and service to your community. 
Those qualities were needed in 1918 and they are needed now. Your journey as practicing lawyers will be rooted in those qualities. You heard it from the chief judge a moment ago. You heard it from Mr. Tanner. You're now hearing it again from me. I've practiced law for 37 years. I have loved every single minute. I loved every minute because I grew up of very limited means in Central Florida. I was lucky. I went to State University in Florida. I'm not wearing their colors today. I then went to a law school outside of the state of Florida. I came back and I came to Tallahassee and I became a state court prosecutor. I didn't know one person in Tallahassee, not a soul. But I loved to try cases and I loved being in the courtroom. And after that, I went on and joined a, a small little local law firm, which eventually merged with a 70 lawyer firm, which we thought was the largest firm in the world <laughs> out of Miami. Greenberg Traurig. I am now a principal partner in a global law firm and I am proud of what I do and I love every single minute of it. Only in America could that young man of limited means be here today and be the president of the Voluntary Bar Association. So you are now lawyers because of your legal education and your zest for life. I'm going to give you a piece of advice to offset a bit what Mike was telling you a moment ago, it's, it's the same, but it's a little different. You have the power to lead your community wherever you go, small town, big town. You understand the law, and we need lawyers to lead in every aspect of every town and every city in our community because you understand how the law brings us all together. Equal justice under law and everything that you say or do, the public is watching you. You have that power to lead. Go to your place of worship. Go to your city government. Go to your state government representative. Go to every single meeting and lead. and Be the forefront of your community. You can do it. I know you will. Even the PTA, even if you are not practicing in your home and you're talking to your child about equal justice under law and how the law helps our society achieve what it needs to achieve. That is your destiny. I know you can do it and I urge you to do it and I thank you for your time today. Thank you. I now recognize David W. Grimes of the Board of Governors of the Young Lawyers Division of the Florida Bar for remarks. Mr. Chief Justice, honorable members of the court, may it please the court. Colleagues, guests, friends, and the folks watching from home on the Florida Channel, it is my honor on behalf of the Young Lawyers Division to address you today. I was not entirely sure what I should say today. There's a lot that I wish someone had told me 10 years ago when I was sitting in those very chairs waiting to take the oath of admission, that figuring out what to say today was somewhat intimidating. The adventure that you are about to embark on is the next stage in a journey that many of you have been on and have been looking forward to for years. But I want to start by taking a moment to ask you to stop looking forward. Take a moment and look around, like actually look around. Look at where you are and look at where you started. For so many of you, this is not just a major milestone that you fought for, but something that your parents, siblings, teachers, coaches, professors, friends, husbands, wives, and loved ones fought for with you. For so many of you, today is the embodiment of the wildest dreams of your ancestors. Take just a moment to appreciate that you are seated at the Supreme Court of Florida, having proven yourself by passing the bar, and are about to take the oath of an attorney. Becoming an attorney is no small feat, but neither is being an attorney. You are about to step into your role as a trustee of our republic. For many people you meet, you will be the living embodiment of the concepts of rule of law and access to justice that are guaranteed to all citizens by our organic law. Oftentimes as lawyers, we like to think the law belongs to us, but the truth is that we hold it in trust for all Floridians. The constitutions that you will swear to uphold belong just as much to the unlettered layperson as they do to all of us here today. As you join the legal community in this new way, I hope you will keep in mind that it is a community. A community 
only functions when we all do our part and we all give back. When you're giving back, whether it's through public service or as a private advocate, know that there are many places and people that need to hear your voice. Whether it's the voluntary bars across the state that work to improve justice in courtrooms from Key West to Pensacola, or the sections and divisions of the Florida Bar that fight for the improvement of the law of our state, or the bar itself with its mission of regulating the profession and protecting the public, your service will not just make you a better lawyer, but will make us a better community. Finding your place in the community can sometimes be difficult. You will no doubt suffer through some of the same imposter syndrome that I dare say everyone in this room on this side of the bar experienced at some point. And you will no doubt shall fall short, but I would encourage you to let your failures teach you. Speaking only for myself, I have learned a great deal more from the things I've got wrong than from my easy successes. You will have hard days and you will have easy days, but in the end you will learn from them both. As you are learning, I hope you will take advantage of the resources that the bar, voluntary bars, the courts, and especially the Young Lawyers Division of the Florida Bar provide for your success. The opportunities available for professional education, personal and social development, mentorship, and advancement are significant, but it will be incumbent upon you to seek them out. If, however, you should find that we have fallen short, don't wait. If you see an opportunity that others missed, to make the legal profession better and more equitable, you are now part of a long line of great Floridians who stepped up and made those opportunities real, raising the bar for those who came after them in the process. I challenge you to live into their legacy and leave a legacy of your own that honors professionalism, civility, and integrity. On behalf of Todd Baker and Iris Elijah, the president and president-elect of the Young Lawyers Division who wish they could be here today, and the 27,000 members of the Young Lawyers Division you are about to join. Congratulations on your admission and welcome to the profession. Thank you, Mr. Chief. Thank you. Each year we select a candidate who has excelled on the bar exam to make remarks on behalf of the newly admitted lawyers. It is my honor now to call upon Philip A. Aaron Sibia for that purpose. Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court. I would like to congratulate everyone first and foremost. Today is such a special day. We accomplished something that took a lot of time and a lot of effort, and that's a big milestone. And I'd like to echo what David was saying about taking a step back and appreciating the moment, because there's always a temptation to be looking to the next thing and to the next goal, but it's important to take a step back and, and live in the moment and look around and appreciate what we've done and look at the immediate past and, and what it took to get here. When I look at the, the last few years since I started my legal education, I'm struck by how much I've changed. We have all gone through a lot of growth and a lot of development over these last few years. We're all very different people than we were when we started studying the law because we face challenges through our studies. And when we face challenges, we have to grow and we have to make changes in our lives. Now, some of those changes are planned out ahead of time to help us succeed. But in my experience, a lot of those changes happened automatically without me even noticing from just the time and the effort it took to accomplish everything I had to do in the day. Through trial and error, we developed the skills and the habits that we needed to succeed and to accomplish everything we needed to. It was a difficult process, but by accepting that challenge and by persevering every day, we develop skills that are going to translate to all areas of our life, our career and otherwise. From managing our schedules or, or persevering in the face of, of difficulties we weren't expecting or when things fall apart. Looking back at this time, we can see how we, we were able to do that. We can appreciate our ability to grow and to adapt in the face of challenges. And we can carry that skill, that ability to adapt with us in the future to, to tackle whatever challenges we have to face in our lives. And looking back, it's also important, perhaps even more important, to appreciate those who were there while we went through this struggle. We all relied on many people to give us courage and to give us motivation. And we were struggling through everything it took to study for bar prep and study the law in general. I certainly would not be here today if it hadn't been for the loving support of my family who would always take the time to listen to what I was going through. They took a genuine interest in my problems and they gave me their honest perspective. 
So today, think about everyone who was there for you and reach out and thank them. Because what, what, they've, what they've done for us is, is incredible. And by cultivating a deep appreciation for everyone who supported us, we'll keep the attitude to reach out for support in the future when we need it. And we'll get the help that we need. And when other people turn to us and ask us for support in their own struggles, we'll understand how important it is to make the time to listen to take a genuine interest in what they're going through and to give them our honest perspective and support. So today, I think we should reflect on everything we did to get here and everything those around us have done to help get us here. We should be proud of ourselves for persevering and for doing what it takes to become a member of this profession. And we should thank everyone who was there for us. By being grateful for ourselves and for those around us, We'll remember what it takes to overcome challenges and achieve our goals. We'll develop the attitude we need to move forward in our lives, and we'll develop a helpful attitude towards those who turn to us for support. So enjoy today and take this time to appreciate what you've done and what those in your life have done for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The court is now very pleased to recognize Rachel Munson, a member of the Florida Board of Bar Examiners, to present the candidates by reading their names and moving for their admission. May it please the court. Pursuant to the rules of the Florida Supreme Court relating to the admissions to the bar, the candidates before you have been rigorously examined by the board both as to the knowledge of the law and understanding of the standards and ideals of the legal profession. In addition, their backgrounds have been subjected to searching character and fitness investigations. On behalf of the Florida Board of Bar Examiners, I certify that these candidates are fully qualified and that each enjoy the enthusiastic recommendation of the board for admission to the Bar of Florida. And I may add that this is the best part of the journey because we, the Board of Bar Examiners, celebrate with you. As your name is called, I simply ask that you stand and remain standing. Small caveat, and please, count it to my phonetic distress if I humbly mispronounce any names. As we begin, Luke Hardy Adeklat, Michelle Alvarez, Sean Michael Belcher, Chloe Elizabeth Behrens, Cameron Wells Bertrand, Paige Elizabeth Bojack, Dorothy Balinski, Alexander Robert Box, Kelsey Elizabeth Carlton, Rafael Santiago Casayas, Christina Levon Day, Nicole Delaware, Jacob Delorme, Michael or Michaela Marie Denuncio, Melissa Duque, Corey Elizabeth Dutton, Sarah Jessica Farmer, Jordan Scott Fink. Scott John Forster, Jr. Natalie Tess Franston. Kevin Galliano. Angelo Joseph Gaspari. Melina Ann Page Gunby. Matthew <coughs> Dean Henderson. Julia Noemi Hernandez. Lily Catherine Hillier, Brianna Holness, 
Christina Marie Hope. Alyssa Wapia Meadow. Giovanna Elich. John Jordan. Christian Thane Nappins. Frank Stephan Lubufi. Jacob William Landreth. Hannah McKenzie LaJoy. Courtney Sean Levy. Aaliyah Brianna Lewis. Natasha Emily Lopez Perez. James Robert Lynch Sr. Sterling Elijah Aaron Mart. Rachel Maver. Brianna Nicole Tiffany Mayers. Randolph Lee McKinney Jr. Christina Medina. Dennis Ryan Madrano. Kianica Janae Montgomery. John Ryan Morgan Ring. Casey Christine Moscrip. Doreen Nanda June. Christopher Andrew Odgers. Stephen Oler. Melissa Pennington. Christian Janos Pervanik. Matthew Joseph Kurolo. Chad Edward Revis. Blake Tucker Richardson. Nay Rivera Diaz. Donnie Deanna Robinson. Megan Elaine Robinson. Kennedy Jude Rubb. Abby Danielle Salter. Sandra Linda Santiago. Jesse Ruth Schuster. Alexandra Marie Sherwood. Brooke Sierra Schroyer. Dominique Sieber. Svetlana Vlad del Morvana Sif Gonrova. Close, I hope. Walter Smith the Fourth. Gregory Davis Smith. Whitney Smith, Travis Allen Swanson, Jordan Alexander Thomas, Kevin Ralph Van Duser, Richard Schuyler or Schuyler Wagner, Elaine Marie Westfall, Angelo Komamut Whitten. Taylor Elizabeth Young, and Kylie Work. On behalf of the board, I move that these candidates be admitted to the Florida Bar. Thank you, Ms. Munson. The court is very pleased to accept your motion and hereby grants it. The moment has now come for the final step in your journey to become a lawyer, the oath of admission. I'd like to ask each of you to please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear, I, swear. I will support the Constitution of the United States, the and the Constitution of the State of Florida. The Constitution of the State of Florida. I will maintain the respect Due to courts of justice and judicial officers. I will not counsel or maintain any suit or proceedings which shall appear to me to be unjust, nor any defense except such as I believe. 
to be honestly debatable under the law of the land. I will employ for the purpose of maintaining the causes confided in me, such means only, as are consistent with truth and honor, and will never seek to mislead the judge or jury by any artifice or false statement of fact or law. I will maintain the confidence and preserve inviolate the secrets of my clients and will accept no compensation in connection with their business except from them or with their knowledge and approval to opposing parties and their counsel I pledge fairness, integrity, and civility, not only in court, but also in all written and oral communications. I will abstain from all offensive personality and advance no fact prejudicial to The honor or reputation of a party or witness, unless required by the justice of the cause, of the cause. with which I am charged. I, am charged. I, will I will never reject from any consideration personal to myself, any consideration personal to myself. the cause of the defenseless or oppressed. Or delay anyone's cause for lucre or malice. So help me God. Let me be the very first to congratulate you as you start your new careers as members of the Florida Bar. Let's give a round of applause. May each one of you always be faithful to the solemn oath you have just taken. Now, before I adjourn the, court, uh, adjourn the court, I need to give brief instructions to all of you about the group photograph we will now take with the inductees. This is a little unusual today due to the size of the group. Um, after about 10 minutes, the justices will return to the bench for this photograph. Inductees should gather in, front of, in, in the front of the courtroom and turn to face what we call the crow's nest. You see it up there? It's a little place where the camera is uh, at the uh, top rear of the courtroom. Uh, it's a small window used by our videographers as they broadcast events here at the Supreme Court. Well, the photographer is going to be up there. Uh, and to prepare, I ask that everyone who is not an inductee please leave the courtroom and move to the rotunda and other public areas of the building. We've got to move some furniture around in here to, to get everything set. Uh, but afterwards, um, uh, after the photograph is done, uh, all our guests today will be able to rejoin the induct uh, inductees after the group uh, pho photograph uh, is uh, completed. This session of the Florida Supreme Court is now adjourned.